Hello! Today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruelty free YouTuber that plays with makeup and today it's going to be one of my normal sitting down, talking about makeup, no, talking about things and putting on my makeup. And today I'm using a <laughs> pretty old palette, this is the Poison Garden from Nabla. I think this palette is okay, it is by far not my favorite palette from Nabla, but I don't have super big problems with this one. This blue is not that good though, but yeah, I'm going to play with this today and do makeup look and talk about things. And first off, I don't know why I'm filming today, if I'm going to be honest. I I don't want to have any comments about this. I just want to put it out there because I guess some of you feel the same as me. Right now, I feel so damn ugly. <laughs> I've tried today. I've recurred my hair. I don't know how that went because it feels super, super big. Um, so I don't know about that. I put in some of my new favorite ear thingy. This is actually a normal earring, but I use it in my stretched ears and my ear hugs haven't done my nails for some weeks and I did burn my I don't think you can see but I did burn my arm when I did curl my hair um so I'm trying to feel that I look good but I, I just feel like I look like shit and <laughs> it has been that for yeah, like this whole week. It, it's Saturday when I'm filming this. But you know when you have weeks and you just feel ugly? Like you see yourself in the mirror and you just feel super ugly. And I found like this... It's not a meme. You know, like these quote things on Instagram. One that suits me pretty good. It wasn't Swedish, but it was like, you know when you're super stressed and then you look in the mirror and like, yeah, good, I'm ugly too. I've been feeling that and I've tried to do my makeup and I put it on and I have just been feeling like, what the fuck is going on on my face? So yeah, I'm doing great right now super great so for me to film today i'm going to be able to do something that feels good maybe not the smartest idea but maybe maybe it helps i don't even know what i'm doing right now i don't know what this is going to be for kind of video you know what i'm just going to go with it <laughs> and we will see and that is also a thing that I wanted to talk a little bit about. I think I'm starting to... This could be temporary. I don't know. But I think I'm starting to change a little bit. Like what I like when it comes to makeup. When I have had my channel and when I have had it yeah, in English. I have always liked to do really colorful makeup. Nowadays... Nowadays, I don't feel like the same joy in super colorful makeup. Okay, maybe I feel the joy, but I did a look that I didn't film. I tried to film it to Instagram. I don't know how it came out because I haven't looked at what I recorded yet. But I had it on in a tag video that I did. I can leave it up here. And maybe this is a stupid thing to talk about. But I'm going to do it. And I just felt like, what the fuck is going on with my makeup? And I know, like, for a couple of years ago, I would have loved that look. Or just maybe a year ago. But I just felt like, what is this? Isn't this me anymore? Isn't like super colorful, bright makeup my thing anymore? And then I felt a little bit lost. Maybe it can just like, yeah, be temporary. Like 
for right now I don't know. I having I'm feeling kinda good. Like I'm feeling not that bad like mentally. It's kinda okay actually. But it feels Okay, maybe I should put it like this. I am happy that I am not supposed to be anywhere else but home and at work. I'm happy that I don't need to do anything to look like representable. And uh, <laughs> because I don't know how I want to look, I don't know who I want to be. And the septum ring is so. It annoys the crap out of me. It doesn't want to stay like center with a little ball. It's driving me nuts. Is this like a crisis? A midlife crisis? Maybe it is. I don't know. So right now I'm feeling a little bit confused. As far as it goes with makeup and like... How do I even want to look right now? I have no idea. And just like that, I'm happy that I'm not supposed to be anywhere where I have to look representable because I don't know how. I don't know how. Like, I even had problems for Casual Friday at work and like having problems with what to wear on a Casual Friday, that is not good. So this is my try today to do something that I might feel good in. And that's why I'm doing like a more neutral makeup, a neutral, a more neutral makeup because it's harder to fuck that up. It is, <laughs> it sure is. So that is what's going on with me right now. And I don't know. I hope that some of you feel the same way, a blonde. Swedish that some of you feel the same way sometimes that oh, This is the wrong brush And not everything feels like hmm. I'm thinking about trying to do one more video after this. I just remember because I haven't Recorded my lipsticks favorite for this year or for 2021 and uh, Maybe I should do that and other things that is going on in my life right now I'm working too much it feels like. I've talked about that I'm covering for a colleague that is on vacation for 10 weeks and it has gone 2 out of 10 weeks now. And I hope that I'm doing a good job but I work so much more and it is like things Like the last hour at work, it's kind of like only me in the office and everything is slowed, slowed down, slow, slowed down. Everything is a little bit calmer, a little bit quieter and then it's easily for me to like work 40 minutes more or one hour more than I'm supposed to do. It's not a good thing to do but you know, it's like... It's so much easier to work when it's quiet around you and um, yeah, I don't know. Can I keep up with this eight more weeks? I don't know. Am I going to be able to do things faster? I guess so. And uh, yeah, it's not my favorite at work right now if it's say it like that, but so far I am still alive. I'm not super, super stressed. It's just that I come home like at half past four, almost five. And then I don't feel like sitting down and film because I don't, I just don't feel for it. So I think I have filmed once this week, maybe. I don't know. But... Yeah, when you work like nine and a half hours, you're not like super, <laughs> super eager to film, if we say it like that. And then at the same time, 
if you feel like you look like a mess mm, then sitting in front of the camera it's not a good thing and actually sometimes I feel like it would be nice to have a YouTube channel that doesn't surround how I look or maybe not say it like that have a YouTube makeup <laughs> Jesus wait I feel sometimes it would be nice to have a YouTube channel that didn't was surrounding about like beauty and makeup even though I like to do this like I like to put on my makeup and I like to talk about makeup but sometimes I feel like it would have been great to have maybe like I don't know A lifestyle sh channel? I don't know. Maybe not lifestyle. Have a gaming channel where you don't have to see my face. <laughs> I hope that you get what I mean. And it's not that like I do not want to have a beauty channel because I do. It's just some days when you're not feeling that good about yourself. trying to do a makeup look it's maybe not the most fun thing to do was I even supposed to film today because it feels like I'm only confusing myself and I guess that you also getting a little bit confused about what I'm talking about and I hate to edit these videos because I'm like what the hell Am I even talk about? And okay, do you see this? Look, I have used a Sen, this one, and Ariago? The Diagio. I don't know. Italian. It's not one of my specialties. Uh, this one, and I do think this looks really good. I have nothing to complain about. Now I want to take a shimmer. I think I want to take fabric and then also archetype to blend these two together. Yeah, I think I will do that. So like, I don't know why people... Or is this too light? No. I don't know why people just hated this palette so much. I do agree it's not the best palette that Nabla has ever done, but it's not a catastrophe. It's just that all the colors aren't that good and maybe the fun colors aren't that good, but yeah, I don't know. I think this one got a little bit too much heat. And also if you wonder how my nobody is going it's the 15th of january today and i haven't shopped anything yet i haven't been close even so that feels good and i'm going to do an update uh, in the end of the month and talk a little bit and yeah, I don't know. I'm going to try to think out a fun thing to do with this no buy or low buy or what is turning out to you. I don't know. One f thought that I have is like, I'm trying to open my colors. Swift thing from Odin's eye. Is to, in my updates, try to dupe a palette that I really wanted to buy that month and... Uh, talk about uh, whatever I don't know is that a good idea or kind of good idea but I don't want my channel like to be super centered centered I don't want my channel to only be about like low buy or no buy but I still want to if I can help someone that is trying to do a low buy or a no buy 
to have like a little community at least. I don't know. You are more than welcome to let me know what you think about that. But I want to do something around it because I know that there is more than me that is trying this. Okay, do you know what? I do really like this. And this feels like the kind of makeup that I like to do more now. And I like how dark it is, but like not too dark because the shimmer. I did use this fabric and then I blended fabric and Adiago, Adiago together with Archetype and I do really like it. Yes, and I feel like maybe I should take away the photos and fix my base and then come back with the finished look because I don't know if I have that much more to talk about and also I'm trying to get into my phone. Maybe not do super long videos all the time. I'm checking how long my videos has been and okay it hasn't been that that long but um I will see I will at least put on my eyebrows my concealer foundation at least and then I might come back and we can do the last finish, finishing touches together. I don't know. I will see. But I will fix some things at least on my face. So I did finish the look off and it feels a little better. I, I do really like this look. So for my under eyes I just went in with Sen and a little bit with this darker brown and I took fabric in my inner corners and I also did took the two reasons in soft nude as highlighter and blush and I I do really love this I did put on the blush one with a brush I did use one from Kaleidos I actually think this is a highlighter brush this is each one but I think it worked really good with this and then I did take this with my finger and I do like this one so so much I just think it looks really really good and I did use my ombre as a contour and what I love about this this isn't a review video or anything but what I love about this I have it on top of a powder face and it is a little bit sticky, but it's not too much and it lays over the powder so freaking good. Um, for my waterline, if you wonder, I did use Hun Dude from Colourpop. And on my lips, I took Sepia from LH Cosmetics, their Majestic. I do really like this color and yeah. Do I feel better about myself than <laughs> when I started? this video yes i do so i don't know what this was for kind of video maybe just a video to talk about it sometime you just feel shit about yourself and that's completely okay and i maybe should stop fiddling with things I don't know what this year has in store for me. I don't know what I'm for right now. I don't know what I'm going to do on my YouTube channel for this year. I don't even know what like my next video is going to be like. I don't know, but I hope you like this video and hope I could keep you company whatever you are doing. And yeah, I'm going to try to do my favorite lipsticks of 2021 now. And I will see how that will go. I know some things that I really, really have loved. Um, so yeah, <laughs> hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye.